balance. <laughs> Good day, humans. Poetic has been here back in the arena after a century. And I'm here with the new control deck. Comes with Brothers War cards. It's a new type of deck that I created a couple of days ago and tested it. And uh, quite frankly, it's just a fun deck. Nothing serious, just one way of trying to piss off your freaking opponent. So, before I get on with the deck build, some beautiful, funky words to you all, diabolic humans out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel. Comment down below for any suggestions on how to improve this deck or suggest a build you want me to feature. And we're back. And just like I always do with my deck build, I subdivide it into columns so you can actually easily understand how it's being built. So, no further ado, let's do this. On our first column, we have our creatures. The second column represents our creature interaction we have our counter spells on the uh, third column and we have a lot of columns here this is like an excel sheet and uh, we have on our fourth column we have our uh, uh, hand and library manipulation when you're drawing stuff like that we have our enchantment portion here in our fifth column our mass removal on our sixth column and the start of the show on our seventh column and of course the lands which you cannot play without them on standards of course all right so let's go with the uh, creatures we have two copies of achushi the blazing sky legendary dragon spirit it's a 4-4 creature that when it dies you can either exit the top two cards of your and play it until your next turn or create three tokens uh with this deck we always use the create three tokens three treasure tokens so we can have a lot of mana so before i go on with the other creatures one of the first main uh goal of this deck is to produce a lot of mana so you can cast a lot uh you can cast your uh, uh significant or main spells which cost a lot of mana we'll get it on while we go with a bit go on with the deck build and of course, we have uh, three copies of Hallbreaker Horror. One of my favorite of blue creatures is a flash creature that cannot be countered. And whenever you cast a spell, you either return target spell you can control to their owner's hand, or you can return target land and permanent to its owner's hand. It can be yours, it can be your opponent's. Got it? And we have um, Cityscape Leveler. Of course. Um, it's an 8-8 trample creature that when you cast this spell, remember when you cast the spell, it means you pay for the casting cost or you just say whatever, just it comes from your hand and you cast it. Okay? When you cast it or whenever it attacks, you destroy up to one target non land permanent, but the controller creates a tap power stone token. It also has an unearth ability for 8 mana. Colorless mana, of course. And for our creature interaction, we have three copies of Fading Hope, Pounce, Cry, and Play with Fire, deal two damage. And if you, you know, you kazit your opponent, you get to scry too. We got three copies of uh, Negate, where you counter target non creature spell. Uh, a must in this uh, deck because at least you have something to protect your uh, Portal to Pyrexia and uh, one with the Multiverse or other creatures in the battlefield. And of course, we have for our draw spells, we only have a few, but really significant um, uh, spells. We have three copies of Consider, Surveil 1, Draw Card, four copies of Big Score. We also produce two treasure tokens, uh, draw two cards, but you need to discard a card, which is very useful. You can either discard, discard a whole breaker heart, the early, early portion of your deck, so you can actually pull it out using Portal to Pyrexia. And here are our enchantments we have of course one of the must here is uh, fable the mirror breaker where where the uh, first chapter produces a goblin shaman creature token that produces 
uh, treasure token and when you exile the saga on the third portion you can actually uh, create a copy uh, a, create a copy of target non-legendary creature since we only have we have a uh, certain horror and this if you can actually copy this or the ones that you get with portal to pyrexia from other graveyards and we also have two copies of one with the multiverse this is very essential to this deck because when you're able to cast it you can cast your spells for free you may look at the top card of your library anytime you may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library anytime oh, no of course only on your turn uh, once during your turn you may cast a spell from your hand or top of your library without paying its mana cost so if you have this in your hand uh, portal to pyrexia or uh, set escape leveler or we have old breaker or you can uh, cast it for free and for our mass removals we only have uh, brothers three copies of brotherhoods and you either choose uh you know three damage to each creature with each and each plane three damage to each creature and each plane smoker or you can destroy all artifacts with mana value three or less very very useful uh with uh, our current meta right now or you have a lot of uh, really good artifacts and artifact creatures costing three or less and we have burn down the house where you deal five damage to each creature and each planeswalker or you can trade three one one red devil creature tokens that when this creature dies it deals one damage to any target and of course it has haste and we have our main card here the nine to cast artifact Ooh, really expensive but it's a mythic card when this enters, when Portal to Pyrexia enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices three creatures. Remember, three creatures. What's the use of those creatures? Well, at the beginning of your upkeep, you can put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It's a Pyrexian in addition to its other types. Does it really matter if it's a Pyrexian or not? At least you get to control them. And for our lands, we'll have five copies of the islands, two copies of Otawara Soaring City, bounds and we have four copies of mountain two copies of sokenzen's crucible defiance where you produce uh two creature <coughs> two color spirit creature tokens when you channel it <coughs> we have four copies of storm card pose for our move <coughs> for our dual land uh four copies of sanders lounge for our tri lands which also produce blue and red and we have four copies of maestro's theater uh, very useful to at least you can pick out the, the land that you need either red or blue or island or mountain of course or you can actually use also uh, you can also use this to gain life and thin down your deck and before i bore you with all of those infos let's get it on with the game right now 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 Alright, let's uh, do this. Uh, I go first. Awesome. Oh, come on. Give me creatures. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's gonna put down a creature. There you go. Come on. Second turn. So uh, it's kicking the butt boys. That will do. That will do. We need two creatures going down. Come on. What the hell is that? Consider. We're just gonna throw it. Really bad. Come on. Go down, boys. That's okay. It's 
Spartan apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, so. Like that one. <coughs> Come on. Come on. We're gonna be bouncing. Boom. That's a good start. Let's get on with the next game. Yowza. Oh, we're up against Estrada. Shut up. I go first. We're gonna do this. Come on. Come on, get down. Be the red one. Really? Another mono block? Come on, cut it down. Oh, no cut down. Awesome. Target non legendary creature. <laughs> we have the wrong creature now.
Oh, they evolve sleeper sleeping, and then that feels sleepy too. Oh, I'm gonna block you, man. Oh, he's gonna quit. I think he just made a mistake. He made a big mistake, man. Why would you attack your bulb sleeper when there's a blazing sky on ward? So, there you go. Okay. Oh, that touch. Good night, Jacob. Oh ho ho ho, I love that. That's okay with me. Hmm. Should I cast this one? <laughs> Get in, baby. Get in. Good game, boys. Good game. Let's go with the Resi. Oh, wow. Look at that. that creature part up to two parts mm, use this card one
There we go. Damn on. Put it down again. Ah, uh, do we need that block? No. That's okay. Screw this up and put us a creature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I get two. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a nine. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> of course you're gonna quit because I can get that freaking Olivia. By the way, I think that's it for the day. Um, it's a pretty nifty uh, deck, but it's only for fun. So, well, yeah, outro time, boys. Well, I'm back here. Nothing much to say. It's a fun deck. Does well. In certain occasions, you just need to pick it a little bit so it can be more competitive. Uh, as of now, the, the deck is more of trying to piss the opponent and trying to use the creature against them. I think that's all for it except for the whole breaker horror uh, thing. It's really a cool creature. It's my opinion, of course. Portal to Pyrexia is one hell of an artifact to get to. Uh, cast it on a creature based deck but for a non-creature deck it's gonna be pretty useless uh, I think uh, on the other hand one with the multiverse is also one hell of a card if you get to cast it as early as possible because you know eight mana for a spell is really more than enough to get you killed before you can even put it down on the board. So anyway, I think that's it for the day. Don't forget to visit my website, poeticdustbin.com, if you're into dark arts and everything like that, and also for gameplays. Also, try to visit my uh, wife's channel, House of Basil Nuts, here on YouTube, if you want 
to eat or if you're into food so anyway that's it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below till the next video sayonara humans till